Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, which is series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there uh, oils um, fragrances incense etc etc it's absolutely lovely and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles making candles at home or buying them scented and colored and we go into discussion about that as well that is with Tracy uh, Castledine Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Leo. This is Shah. How are you? This is your reading for the 5th to the uh, 11th of October. And I hope you are enjoying the readings, uh, the love readings and the general readings. I've gone back to using the transparent tarot because I'm absolutely in love with this deck. And I'm also using the Everyday Witch uh, de uh, deck for the overall energy. Now, I like layering, you know that, and I, 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 I think you like it because I've had good response from this deck. Now, to start off with, we have the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is also... Um, represents also the Aquarian. Okay, so you might be getting news from an Aquarian, or you might be getting uh, here uh, meeting an Aquarian, but you could or definitely will receive news. This comes through air, so that cyber, telephone, email, text message, or air mail, paper, letter, like in the olden days. Ooh, this could also be official news. Okay, because it's the swords, and the swords also stands for municipalities and institutions like the government or doctors, hospitals, schools. You could be hearing news, for example, that you have the job, so finally you will be getting a job if you've been out of work as you have the Nine of Pentacles. If you are in a job, this could mean that you might get a promotion a ra or a race. So there will be more money coming in. There is an end to difficulties, definitely financial difficulties, and a new beginning. There is action. You've got the Ace of Wands. This could be a new job, like I said, but this could also be a love letter, uh, a letter of passion because the ones stand for passion, creativity, uh, logic, um, and job, uh, officially, uh, like activity, we re see activity as doing something. So there could be action undertaken to something that will bring you a new beginning. This could be a job, but it could also be a house and now you finally bought the house and you can start refurbishing it. It could be that your loan is through. Your application has been accepted. Now let's see what else I am, um, um, what you call it, layering them. And it's like really it's uh, six cards, but I'm doing three, two, one, okay? Right, we have the Hierophant. Okay, the Hierophant is on the money and on the news. Like I said, you could be getting news from an official, official news. It could be your bank manager, it could be a lawyer or advocate. You might be, some of you might even be getting an official gift, perhaps an official gift from the government or an inheritance. Okay, let's have a look. The Hierophant is some uh, a high person at the head of the church, so it could be a head of an institution. Right, could be like I said, the, a CEO from a firm saying you've got the job. We want you to start right now. Really fiery. Okay, let's have a look. Then we have the two of cups your emo could be also passion like i said because this is two of cups is you've met your soulmates whoa <clears throat> let's have a look perhaps now you finally have the money to marry like i said the hierophant is somebody official ahead of an institution or a municipality so now you might have money to buy that house or pay for that wedding and you might be getting married 
you might be going to the registry office or to church because this is your soulmate and you're holding hands you're joining up it's no longer passion it's real love okay with a Sagittarius Aries or a Leo and here we've got the Aries again the Hierophant represents an Aries okay now let's have a look the last card let the last card let's have a look Wow, and the top card is the King of Pentacles. Look, I think you're going to, I think you're going to see that you've got enough money to buy that house. To be like this in this deck, the Hierophant represents the tree. This is the top of the tree branching out that is also what I'm hearing you've put down roots or you're going to put down roots you're joining up you're getting married because look the king of pentacles is uh, offering uh, money uh, to an institution so in other words to get married whoa nice one you're branching out if you're not getting married you you might be branching out this could mean specializing in your job um, so I, I think you might be specializing but this this job will be for long term if it's a promotion long term you'll get more money and if it's your own business you will be branching out you might be partnering up with somebody uh, so that you can branch out that there will be an, an money to do that especially at this time because COVID there are companies that are selling their company and you might be taking over another institution it's like you are handing over money to an institution you're going to take that risk and partnering up wow and you've got the chariot I love this deck because it's modern and vibrant and it's with the times it's no longer the horse and and the cart but it is a motorbike with a sidecar this could be that you are you've been waiting for somebody to partner up with you you're going onwards and upwards you've got victory you've got recognition you could be moving home or moving your business you could be moving your business to bigger premises like branching out okay you could also be traveling for work or business you could be going on holiday before you do this big move you might be taking time out to think about it but I think you know already what you want you've got a seven here from the higher corner so that means luck is on your side definitely what does it say that way this way well you're not going back you're going forwards you're going that way <laughs> and now I'm going to get a card from the TLC deck tender loving care for the soul and you have dig deep you might need to dig deep into your wallet that's what I'm hearing dig deep and then I hear wallet you've been you're going through a tunnel you're transforming okay you're transforming from a caterpillar into these beautiful blue butterflies and we do have two moons this month with the first full moon uh, was on the first and the second full moon uh, will be on the 31st okay and that is the blue moon once in a blue moon magic happens so magic is going to definitely happen for you this month for all of us what once seemed so right can suddenly feel strange words don't seem to flow the way they used to and now you don't know which way is right that way or that way which way is right side up Our, ours is the time of spiritual advancement and you do have the 
hierophant so there could be also a spiritual advancement in something in your higher self discovering yourself that is preceded by a leap of consciousness on the worldly side of things that's the material side okay your actions may appear clumsy and out of character some may mistakenly think you've lost your way they may make suggestions to get you back on track say thank you I love you I'm safer in the arms of the divine then dig deep and when presented with an opportunity enter this rite of passage with all the passion you can muster there you go something is coming something is being handed to you there is no need for you to compromise at such a poignant, poignant time of transformation just so uh, just to quiet the fears of others be gentle with yourself and try to move more swiftly towards bliss of consciousness take time out and, and contemplate meditate and evaluate there you go beautiful card this is my favorite card in the deck because of the picture and the blue butterflies you're transforming once in a blue moon this is a strong message Leo okay I hope you've enjoyed the reading take care stay strong stay safe and be blessed please like and share thank you